Imagine we already calculated the minor for every position in our 3x3 matrix A and placed them in the same position within our minor matrix capital M. Then we can use the values in this minor matrix capital M and the corresponding symbol in this sign matrix to get every potential cofactor of our matrix A. Cofactor C11 is equal to positive 1 times capital M sub 1 1, which is equal to plus 1 times negative 66, which equals negative 66. If we are creating a cofactor matrix capital C, then C11 equals negative 66 goes in this position here. Capital C12 is equal to negative 1 times capital M sub 1 2, which is equal to negative 1 times negative 40, which is equal to positive 40. C12 equals 40 goes here. Our cofactor capital C sub 1 3 is equal to positive 1 times capital M sub 1 3, which equals positive 1 times positive 18, which is equal to 18. 18 goes in this position. We get our cofactors in the second row, capital C sub 2 1, capital C sub 2 2, and capital C sub 2 3, by multiplying these signs with these minors. We insert their values into their respective position within our cofactor matrix. We get our cofactors capital C sub 3 1, capital C sub 3 2, and capital C sub 3 3 by multiplying these signs with these minors. We insert their values into their respective position within our cofactor matrix. We now have our minor matrix, capital M, this sign chart matrix which is useful to remind us of these negative 1 raised to the i plus j power values, and our cofactor matrix, capital C. You'll notice that the cofactor matrix, capital C, matches the minor matrix, capital M, except that entries have opposite signs where the row number plus column number is odd. Sometimes you'll need the full cofactor matrix, but often you can just compute individual cofactors on the fly using this formula. 